It's time for Eric Plays Dear Esther, Episode 2. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here again to play another episode of Dear Esther. I uh, tried to load up the game uh, before I started recording, and alarmingly, it doesn't seem to be a way to load saves, even though I did some quick saves. I'm guessing that the quick save is saved per chapter. Uh, luckily, is I decided to quit on a chapter uh, boundary, so hopefully everything uh, works out okay. I guess we'll find out soon enough. So let's get into the game. If I can, maybe I can't. Seem to have lost the ability to use my mouse. Oh, there we go. Huh. Something has gone horribly all right. Let me start the game again. And such is the way of uh, live streams, right? Nothing ever goes 100% correctly. For some reason, that opening scene uses an insane amount of CPU power. <sighs> I'm not sure what's going on here. Looks like I've completely lost my progress. That's unacceptable. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, I'm gonna have to do a quick research here. Oh dear. Ah, F7. Alright, well, let's try that. Ah. Success. Yay for the internet. How we got along before? I don't know. All right, let's get on with it. So things are relatively smooth. Um on my computer screen. I know things are a little jumpy on the video. I forgot once again to set it to uh, streaming. I left that on recording desktop only. So it's using 72% of the CPU. I see another candle. This is very, very strange. The moon over the Sanford Junction. Headlights in your retinas. Donnelly drove a gray hatchback without a bottom. All the creatures of the tarmac rose to sing to him. All manner of symbols crudely scrawled across the cliff face of my unrest. My life reduced to an electrical diagram. Electrical All diagram. my gulls have taken flight. They will no longer roost on these outcrops. The lure of the moon over the Sanford Junction is too strong. Hmm. It's like everything coming together. But in a really weird, poetic, uninterpretable way. All these candles everywhere. Very trippy. The 
fire and soil, I chose fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. We could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway, making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceiling. What? Clearly this is the accident, but I... Is he saying he painted all this stuff with the ashes of the person who died in the car crash? Whoa. Here's the radio he kept talking about. And a bunch of medical equipment. Oh, so the guy was taking pills. He mentioned that. And oh, this is a uh, defibrillator. The person who he's talking to is that Esther, maybe? Another more complex chemical formula this time. Benzene rings. car parts the thing is has this person just recently died because why are all these candles still lit There were chemical stains on the tarmac. The leak of air conditioning, brake fluid and petrol. He kept sniffing at his fingers as he sat by the roadside, waiting as if he couldn't quite understand or recognize their smell. He said he'd been traveling back from a sales conference in Exeter. He'd stopped for farewell drinks earlier, but had kept a careful eye on his intake. You could hear the sirens about the idling traffic. Something around him. Heaven. Light from heaven shone around him. This is getting trippier and trippier. And apparently, although he has said it more, <clears throat> he has been more direct in the past, but it was a drunk driver that crashed into him. to get back on the path there.
From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. That's messed up. thing we've been listening to is these little paper boats he made. This guy went insane. <coughs> On a sudden a light from heaven shone around him, and he fell to the ground. This is supposed to be like, um, Satan from, uh, Milton? Uh, what's that called? Uh, Paradise Lost? Oh no, duh. It's, uh, it's, 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 uh, Paul. They kept talking about Paul before in the road to Damascus. On a sudden, light from heaven shone around him, and he fell to the ground. That's right, he fell to the ground blind. <clears throat> My Sunday school teacher would be so proud. Okay. Am I meant to uh, walk into the sea? It'd be a nice parallel to the way this game started. There's rocks blocking the way over there. Let's give it a shot. <clears throat> made it this far. There's the possibility I have to go all the way to the other side. Will it let me stay on top if I go like this? It was too bad because I felt it would be perfect for me to have to go to that last boat. Let's see. Climb the rocks. I've got this here that seems to be telling me I want to go in here, but maybe I want to stick closer to the closer over here. Oops.
Man, I don't want to have to consult the strategy guide for a game like this. It just seems to defeat the purpose. I'm stuck. Alright, just let my guy die, I guess. Come back. Alright, let's try a different approach then. I came this way. I want to go up, I think. Yeah, I came this way. Okay. That's what happens in these type of games without a map. And it makes sense because I think I'm supposed to get to that beacon. I've been steadily progressing towards it the whole game. Ooh, look at the pattern over there. Those, like, X's and stuff below the beacon. Interesting. I wonder if I was an astronomy nerd, if I could figure out where this is by looking up at the sky. Wouldn't be the first time a game or a comic had something like that. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, <coughs> they resuscitated him by hitting him in the chest with stones gathered by the roadside. He was lifeless for 21 minutes, Certainly long enough for the oxygen levels in his brain to have decreased and caused hallucinations and delusions of transcendence. I'm running out of painkillers, and the moon has become almost unbearably bright. Interesting theory on Paul of Tarsus. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulp of vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge, and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. And he was... something proceeding on his journey? Definitely gonna have to hit up uh, TV tropes and Wikipedia and some other places to get the full, full meaning of exactly what they're conveying to me here. <coughs> Need for go to pain and. There, 
If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. <coughs> Confused. Is Donnelly the guy that hit them in the car? Or is Donnelly this guy from the past? That was a sheep herder that no one accepted? I like the aesthetic they're setting with the words on the rocks, but I can't always make them out. But perhaps that's part of the aesthetic as well. The stones in my stomach will weigh me down and ensure my descent is true and straight. I will break through the fog of these godforsaken pills and achieve clarity. All my functions are clogged, all my veins are choked. If my leg doesn't rot off before I reach the summit, it will be a miracle. There are 21 connections in the circuit diagram of the anti-lock brakes. There are 21 species of gull inhabiting these islands. It is 21 miles between the Sanford Junction and the turn-off for home. All these things cannot, will not, be a coincidence. Alright, so, that reminds me. Um, my, yesterday, my wife and I were talking about the uh, formula, as I said we would. And uh, I remembered... that an OH attached to something that complex is always an alcohol. That's this is by definition. If you look it up, it'll be R-OH, that's an alcohol. And so now we have this drunk driver who drank alcohol. And yesterday, uh, and I kept seeing circuit diagrams. Apparently the circuit diagram of anti-lock brakes. So I guess what we're seeing here is someone who went crazy after his uh, girlfriend or boyfriend. I don't think they've necessarily... I, I mean, I'm thinking it's Esther, it's a girl, uh, died and he went crazy. And so he's painted this stuff everywhere. It seems like he's used her ashes in the paint. That's what I've gathered so far. I could be completely off base. I have dredged these waters for the bones of the hermit. For the traces of Donnelly, for any sign of Jacobson's flock, for the empty bottle that would incriminate him. I have scoured this stretch of motorway 21 times, attempting to recreate his trajectory, the point when his heart stopped dead and all he saw was the moon over the Sanford Junction. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all, and it was not his fault. It was the converging lines that doomed him. This is not a recorded natural condition. The gulls do not fly so low over the motorway and cause him to swerve. The paint scored away from his car in lines like an infection, making directly for the heart. Right, now this guy's gone completely bananas. work in this game and the music is so good and the narrator is top-notch I am the aerial in my passing I will send news to each and every star Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. 
there will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Oh my god. I've said it before and I say it again, this game would be incredible in VR. Shadow at the bottom is meant to represent that I'm a bird now. Or at least there's a bird following me. This is the one I tried to reach before. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to push a button or wait. Pushing a couple buttons to see if anything happens. So far, nothing. Still not sure if I'm supposed to do anything. Oh, 
resume game. Let's see. I might try swimming. Let me hold the swimming button. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Forward. Backwards. Left. Right. Move my mouse around. Well, rather than just sit here, I'm just going to take a quick look and see. Is there anything else to this, or...? Looks like this is it. I am going to try really quickly reload. See what see what happens. Let me see. Someone said they did a save and a reload. Just see if I get anything different. Alright, well, I can confirm that none of my buttons do anything. So, I think we're good. Very cool. That uh, didn't take too long. And only two episodes. Which I figured it might. So. How do I feel having just uh, played it now? Um, I think it was, it was pretty, pretty good storytelling. Um, a good example. Um, similar to, but in a different realm as... Um, Oh shoot! What was the one? Uh, where the it was like a old school RPG, To the Moon, similar to To the Moon, where you're kind of learning a story as it goes along, and it's just using a game as a different way to tell a story than a movie or a book. That's not a game in a traditional sense. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty interesting. Um, I think I pieced it all together, um, especially the having figured out what the f chemical formula was, but um, <clears throat> definitely going to have to look online and take a look and see what others think and what theories people have and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure what my next game is going to be. Um, 
but I'll probably take a break and play some of my favorites like Team Fortress or uh, one of the other games that I enjoy playing often and then I'll get back to trying out new games and checking out all these games that I've bought over the years with the different humble bundles so um, thanks again for watching um, and I'll see you next time I'm Eric and this has been Dear Esther bye